All right, now what I need to do is set up some lights inside the scene. Um, I'm going to just choose simple uh, point lights for this. And 7 on the keyboard will show me what those point lights look like. And also I want high quality render so I can really see what they look like because sometimes just seeing what they look like, not really all that. Uh, control D is to duplicate. And I'm just going to duplicate the light and put it over here. So what I want to do is make this scene, you know, as lit as it needs to be, but I want to make it not blown out. So I want to put my intensity at like point to five or something like that just to give it that ambiance there uh, move the player that's important okay so this is what I got I got this scene it's got several materials all making up this this is totally not able to go into unity right now okay now let's go over here choose mental ray okay and also choose production quality. Now here's the here's the fun thing. Everything works to bake textures. Like I could put in photons in here. I can make I can make it a final gathering, all that type of deal. That all works within it. This is just the very cheap render, and this will work just for now. Let's go into lighting and shading. Batch Bake Mental Ray. And let's choose some stuff in here. First off, I want the selected object. Yep. I want to bake it to a texture. Yep. Camera. Perspective. Yep. Use Bake Set Override. Correct. Light and color. I want that. Okay. I wish they just had color. You know, that would be nice. Final room, maybe? Yeah. Final room. It's going to be 2048 by 2048. It's going to be a TIFF when done, and it's going to bake it to one map. Convert it to close. And this is how things get done. Because I could spend all day trying to lay out UVs and doing all that jazzy stuff but really to be honest with you if I just break it out by materials and then in the very end I bake it over to one material okay not a whole lot changed if I go into hyper shade however I got this new node and within this new node I double click here. I have this. And if I look in textures, I now have this. Okay. So, if I edit the texture, I get this. And now I can go save as and I could save it as anything I want, anywhere I want. And what I want to be able to do is save it over to my hard drive, over in users, shared, Unity, Demo Island. And I want to bring that in under assets. Wow, this is so much tiling. And then it was what? Objects, getting burned out here and final room sure it's going to be a tiff i'm not sure if that's going to work in unity but we'll find out so here we have unity if it worked all correctly i should have a new one importing into it and there it is final room what i want to do is first click on this one and then click final room over And there we go. My room's all bagged out. Uh, the tiles all laying up correctly. Wallpaper's still ugly, but that's okay. Brick looks okay. And that is how it's done.
the very fast, efficient, efficient way. All right, now, based upon what you have just learned, I want you to improve your schoolhouse. So this is an assignment also. Uh, and the last assignment that you did was a schoolhouse or just this, my one room patio furniture thing going on. And I want you to do improve that using the technology I just showed you.